So welcome again to my AI Silly Tavern Memory channel there, where I'm going to be talking about the chat logs today. So chat, I mean, when we discuss with our AI uh, LLM models using the new workflow, the first step is really to look into all the chat logs that we have there. How do we make sure that we have a good chat with the AI models? And maybe as a bonus there, uh, we'll have a little bit of uh, images slideshow at the end there with my AI stable diffusion generations. So let's get into it there. To be able to have that good chat log and understanding how to chat properly, you have to understand how the AI data process works so that we have that good efficient chat log. Sir. So how does it work? When we look into the chats that we do day to day, we have to think about the context window. Right. I mean, uh, this is basically all the information that the LLM is receiving to be able to give you the answer that you, you want or you need. Right. So uh, when you look at the, the chat there, you see there's the introduction and then there's there your question, your prompt there. And then it's going to at the end give you an answer and then you go over and over the same operation there. But every time you get these kind of answer, well, you have to understand that the, the prompt there, the, the information that was given to our uh, AI model, it's much more than just that single line. There's a whole bunch of information given to it there. And if we look into this more detail there, we can see there's the uh, profile of our character that's set in uh, Silly Tavern. You have uh, different uh, information about the, your character there. And all of this is given to the AI model so that it can generate the proper answer there. Uh, we can look at the uh, traits, the personality traits there, that uh, we give it a score from 0 to 10 that we add to give it some specific personality. Uh, here you have all the uh, the memories, right? So different memories that was discussed in the past there and summarized here into the into the chat log there uh, so that uh, it gives a great prompt. And then the, here you even have a, a template uh, of instructions there so that it knows how, how to answer to you. So all that is our, you know, our chat log with the prompt. Now, size and content. Well, in this, we have to understand there's many strategies to um, figure out what is the right size for the chat log before we do a summary. So daily chat here, I mean, you just have discussion with uh, your large language model day to day. At the end, you do a summary, right? I mean, you spend the day discussing with it there, discussing different topics, and then you summarize that whole discussion so that you have a, a, a concise and consistent information there which is within a block. Sometimes you need to split the chats because if, for example, here you've been discussing a lot, you know, 60 uh, uh, back and forth interaction with your with your AI there. And, you know, at some point we should summarize it instead of waiting right uh, instead of waiting until the end of the day, basically, because there's so much information that if you don't summarize it right away, end of the day, there's going to be. Uh, so much information that the summary is going to be losing some of the details, right? So make sure that if it reaches a certain point there that you feel there's enough information that you run a summary and then you continue the chat, like right? you start a new chat there in the middle of the day and then that new chat would have more information and in the end you're going to have two summary instead of one for, for, uh, for that day. Um, and another trick here is to make sure that we regenerate, right? We regenerate the uh, the summary there when we see there's a lot of uh, uh, of uh, maybe not great information that's been displayed there, and we feel that this summary is not great. Don't hesitate to do a regen, right? And that you can do it as many as you want there until you get a, a summary that you feel, yeah, this uh, this really represents uh, what the discussion has been going on during the day there. Um, and with this, it's going to be saved into memory. So it's important to have a good summary at the end of a, a chat discussion. There. So with all that, it, it gives you the, the uh, option and the possibility to have a good chat log when you do chat day by day there. And here again, I mean, all of that is within that chat prompt there, right? When you do a prompt, it's all in there. So it's not just a one liner. So let's do a little quick summary there. In the prompt window content, you have the profile, right? The character profile in the author's note. You have the character personality traits. You have the memory from the past, the memory chat past there. You have the chat template example, so it knows how to interact with you and current chat log. 
and the memories i mean that it can be one two five we call it chunks there right uh, there could be many chunks of memory and that's something uh, that can be configured it really depends on what kind of graphic card you have and different other element regarding your size of the different uh, extra information there but again at the end we're chatting with a LLM model there, with an AI model. You have to choose the right one that fits your need, right? So uh, let's look a, a little bit again into the uh, uh, LLM AI model there. You had that website there. You can go there. There's plenty and there's many filter. Uh, here you can see from this list there, there's OpenAI that has its own uh, uh, AI model. You have uh, Meta. It has their own AI model there. That's uh, open source. You have Google. Uh, yeah, it has their own uh, AI model from uh, Gemma there. Uh, you even have uh, Quen, which is from Alibaba, right? That, that Alibaba where you buy stuff from. So all the big players who has a lot of, let's say, uh, data crunching possible, they'll have their own AI model there. Uh, you also have other uh, more independent where they would combine different things and play around with the different AI models to get something better, right? Then there's the size. That's one element that you can use to compare, you know, bigger size, usually better AI model, but then it really depends. It's not that straightforward. VRAM, again, bigger model, usually bigger VRAM, but there's a couple of other uh, elements toward that also. Make sure you select the right model for your right, right uh, graphic card. And then uh, again, context window, right? I mean, we said we're trying to put a lot of information into a prompt and not just a one-liner with the context length. It's important there, right? You want one that is big enough that fits your need there, right? Usually I go with 32K, but it can be anything else. Here I'm showing uh, the different uh, slideshow as discussed, right? With the different AI model that I generated uh, um, in the past there while uh, trying to understand better stable diffusion there. So just different AI image that I generated uh, while I was having a, a good time discovering how it works. There. Okay, we're getting to the end of the video. So thank you very much for having that real review with me. And on the next video, we're going to look into the step number two, which is the summary, a very key element into the workflow there, which will give us an idea of how to summarize properly so that we can store it in our, our data bank there. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.